And welcome back to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're here on the Sanctum of Wrath. We're playing as a Slipknot Legion. See that on our little weapon there. We're playing our endgame build. All right, where'd you run to, my friend? They spawned on our side. So we're running the uh, Never Sleep Bells to give us the long frenzy. God damn it. Well, that. Socks. That sucks. Ah. Thank you. So we're going to have a long frenzy. Oh, we lost the Chen. Ah! Well, that's disappointing. That is, as they say, very disappointing. They're over here. gonna hit you again, buddy. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get Leon out of this pallet before anything bad happens. Wouldn't no way out stack. And a little. Uh, uh. She's running breakout. I feel like we should have been able to get there, but... Well, that sucked.
Well, that was an annoyance. This makes you more of an annoyance. They are down to two gens. Are we getting any speed? I can't tell. Right, let's see if we can keep Ada out of our way this time. All right. We do have our BFF stacks, so that's good. We gain some speed. before we would have gotten the fourth that all right unfortunately or fortunately we fucked you already well later I think this actually works out. We'll get another No Way Out stack now. You didn't run with that adrenaline, buddy. We just missed that. We are still fast as hell. And now they know we have no ad. The land of that. All right. Wait, how are they all up? 
power all of you up. Right? I only need to kill somebody here. So fast. God. Are we going to get it? I think we will. All right. Mercy COVID. Well, we might have to go through all this again. Make sure he doesn't have DS. What a wild endgame. Where did everyone crawl? If they crawled away, they're going to bleed out. We are so fast. I say if you had DS, it would be well gone by now. Crow's over there. I think someone crawled to the edge. I guess the other two are going to bleed out. Yeah, everybody was here. And everybody was here, but they're not anymore.
Oh, there you are. We will be able to hook you. All right. That'll do it. All right. Well, that was a that was a crazy end game. Wow, was that a crazy end game? Um, lots of blood points. We'll take that. Good team. Um, the Ada did have Saboteur. We saw Leon's Hope, I'm pretty sure, at some point. We got nailed with the head on by Sable on what would have been. She jumped into a locker. It would have been a five hit down. We came really close to some five hit downs. We got a five hit down. Clearly, a team playing together, uh, whether they were all together going in. They certainly played well as a team during the match. We saw attempted flashlight saves. We saw attempted flashbang saves by the Sable. We saw the Ada sabotaging toolboxes. Also with Metal of Man. Uh, Leon running Saboteur. Uh, a team that had a plan. They got Jens done. Uh, again, no Gen regression in this build. We only had three stacks and no way out at the end of the match, but everybody was kind of congregated together and that allowed us to, to get some downs and to keep the pressure on. And at some point it just became a question of whether or not we were gonna be able to get everybody down at once. Obviously once the last exit gate or the last gem was powered and the exit gates were powered, we knew we were gonna have to slug to have any chance of winning. They were all by that one gate. They got a couple lights on it, so they were getting it close to getting open. But we kept getting them down, and even the Kobe, the Kobe by one of the Leons was not enough. Uh, thankfully, we were able to chase him down before he could get too many people up. If they, they had been able to get more than one person up, somebody could have gotten on the gate. Somebody would have downed it. But what helped us do that? The BFFs. That 6% movement speed. And we were almost always by a gen that was done for 11%. And the no head speed of 4%. That right there, 15%, making us a 130 killer. I, uh, that, that is what did it. Uh, that extra speed allowed us to just keep chasing the survivors down, getting them down, and finally finishing them off. An improbable comeback. It is a match that looked like we were lo a loser, like it was lost. But this end game build has a way of making things happen in the end game, and that's what we did to pull out a 4K as the Legion on Yamaoka. I hope you enjoyed the round. Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button while you're here. New videos go up on the channel on a daily basis, and you can follow us over on Twitch at the link below at Geriatric Gaming 11. Get notified whenever we're live there. Till our next time, thanks again so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.